Hey guys, it's Ashley, and here are all of my thoughts on Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson in just about five minutes. This video does contain spoilers, so if you have not read this book yet, please don't watch this until you have. Unless you want to be spoiled, then by all means, go right ahead. Since You've Been Gone was an adorable story, oh my gosh. It's been a little bit since I read this that I'm making this review, but I just seriously loved it. Um, and I read this when I was on my contemporary kick, so... Uh, so good. In the beginning, Emily did annoy me just a little teeny tiny bit because um, she was very like hesitant to do anything herself. She was a very reliant person. She relied a lot on Sloan to really make her decisions and to, you know, just even basic interaction. She was just kind of, you know, lost without Sloan. And that kind of really aggravated me because I'm the kind of person who, you know, I always think if I'm not happy, then I need to do something about it. Like. I don't need somebody else to make me happy. I can figure out how to be happy on my own. And so having to read about somebody who in the beginning is so reliant on somebody else just made me really just wanna like kick her and be like, get up, you know? Just like do something for yourself for once. I will say I seriously loved the little bucket list though. I loved that Sloane left that for her to try to become herself and kind of like her character arc through the entire story, I really, really enjoyed because she really changed as a person from beginning to end and it was a very slow going change but it really really made the difference in the end. Sloane really pissed me off though because what kind of a best friend just up and leaves because she doesn't think that she'll be able to handle it. Even her explanation at the end just didn't make any sense. Like I, if there's one character that I really disliked in this book it's Sloane and I was surprised that I really liked all of the side characters and everybody like Collins and and just everybody I really 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 loved but Sloane really really made me mad, like just, just as a person. She wasn't even in the book that often, but she just made me mad. Frank is everything. Frank is just so, so adorable. Um, in the beginning, he did annoy me just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit because of the just the weird things that he would say, like that um, they were at the gas station in that one scene and he was talking about how he and Lisa had spearheaded the petition to save the great tree frog species from being dem demolated or whatever, demolished, extinct. Like, who's a spearheaded and just a normal conversation? Only Frank. <laughs> oh, okay, something that I want to bring to attention in this book specifically, because I noticed this um, as I was reading this book. I read Save the Date first before I read Since You've Been Gone. That was my first Morgan Matson book. And this was my second. To those people who questioned me when I said I wanted to read When Dimple Met Rishi before um, From Twinkle With Love came out, although they didn't follow the same character, um, this is why. Because Morgan Matson's stories all fall in the same city and they all intermingle with one another. Like, we saw appearances from characters probably in here that I didn't read about in the in the previous books because this is the earliest of her books that I've read so far. But don't think that in Save the Date I didn't catch that that cameo from Andy and Clark and then right after this immediately read the unexpected everything to find out more about them because I did. I did. And I'm very proud of that. So to those people who questioned me, this is this is my reasoning. This is it. This this is everything. Overall, the story was absolutely adorable. I loved every second of it, and if I could go back and just read more of what happens with Emily and Frank, I would, but I can't because this is the end of the story, but I just, like, I freaking loved it. It was so cute, so cute, and it made me wonder why I haven't read that many contemporaries at this point. So that is going to be all of my thoughts on Since You've Been Gone. Um, if you guys have read this book, please let me know what you thought of it down below. Um, I know this is a relatively older book that this came out at, at least a few years ago, but I just now got around to reading it. So if you remember what you thought about it, let me know down below. But other than that, that is going to be it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye! <laughs>